oh, so it, okay. it fills up. So uh, it does that every once in a while. Mm. I know whoever sits there says, what's that? I'm warning you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I could call the plumber, but it's $60 just to walk across that doorstep. I know. I don't know. I, I, I'm still a depression baby. I remember counting every, every penny. <laughs> Lamb in advance? I grilled it. Oh. And I yeah. grilled, made it rare so that when I reheated it, it wouldn't be over oh, or done. Yeah. So it's it's soft. It's it's it, it's done. It's medium. Yeah, that's what I did last year. You last year too, I think. You better hang on to her. <laughs> Today is not our wedding anniversary, but the anniversary of when we started dating 40 oh, years ago. 40 years ago. April 1st. April Fool's Day. What would you do on your first date? We went out for dinner. Uh-huh. On my first date with Bob, of course, I've known him since I was 15 and he was 16. And he always thought I was a snob and I always thought he was a little <laughs> crazy. And uh, so we never really dated them. But after the war, Terry, my girlfriend, you remember Terry Sharp? Sure. Sure. She kept saying, to, at, begging me to double date with Bob and his friend Chuck. And I didn't like Chuck. He was like a Trump type of person, you know, <laughs> wanted to run everything. Yeah, and, you know. and she said, What kind of a friend are you if you won't help me out when I, I always helped you out? So, of course, I said, Okay, I'll go. So when they came to pick us up at, at our house, and Bob took me by my arm, and Chuck took Terry, said, oh, on Bob's date, you know. So they took Juan Monroe. Do you remember him? He was very famous back yeah, in the 1940s, yeah, yeah. Band, band leader and a singer. Yeah, yeah. And um, he was in town. Oh. Huh. And so they took us to dinner, and they took us to that. Let me take that little plate. Oh, goody. Yeah, I can just take that away. And then he asked me a date for the next night, and I said, I've got to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't date on Sunday nights. <laughs> so we made a date for the next week. I gave home from work Monday night. There he's sitting on the porch. And Mom later said, he's such a nice man. He came in and asked if he could wait for me, you know. And so anyway, I just took off from there. That was our... First day. He was probably scared out of his shorts. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I don't think Bob was scared of anything, to tell you the truth. I don't know. Did Grandma scare him back then? Did your mother scare him back then? Oh, she then? could be really sweet, couldn't she? When I think back, she was one great woman, you know? Here, help yourself, and then I'll pass it. Take whichever ones you want. Okay. Thank you. It's one thing at, uh, at Easter, they always have the rack of lamb at a good price. Can I have two? Yes, absolutely. You can have as many as you want. Plus, there will be leftover because I Oh, my God. <laughs> and there's some jelly if you want. Did you make this? Yeah, that's mine. A friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of mint jelly, so mint uh, leaves, so from her garden. So I had plenty of mint to make some mint jelly. Got to have that, just like with pork chops. you got to have applesauce. <laughs> Okay. Somebody jumped off of the... Pardon me? Somebody in Utica, they jumped off the Adirondack oh. building. That's the building that you uh, worked in. Utica Mutual? They used to be at Neisner as a Utica Mutual? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Huh. I think, that, of course, they moved out of there now, Utica Mutual. Well, actually, uh, the year I graduated, 1944, they started a new program where three of us were chosen to leave school early in the day mm -hmm. and work. And I oh. was one of the one that was chosen. <laughs> and could believe it or not, Donald Henderson was the other one. <laughs> and uh, the job was the Utica Mutual. So I started out as a file clerk. Oh, wow. And then, uh, can I serve up. you some mac and cheese? Oh my goodness. Thank you. I didn't make potatoes. I made I, mac and cheese. I've never seen it with the crumbs on top. Looks so luscious. Thank you. Roasted vegetables.
vegetables. They're a real combination. It looks a little on the done side, but that's oh the way it's said to be. Did you really build those on the grill or what? No, I did it in the oven. But it does look grilled. It looks, you know, brownish. That's why yeah, it's supposed to be. In fact, they said, leave it in a little extra longer so it does brown. I said, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll pass it. I'll pass it down to your yeah. husband. I'll grab a spoon while I'm here. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Get our veggies for the day. Yes. Um, I decided I'm not going to bring a salad. You can always have salad. I brought two we veggies. We don't need a salad with all the veggies. Well, something might want some. Lamb is delicious. Good. No mushrooms? No mushrooms in anything. Yeah. Here, put it over here. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I could just get some. <laughs> the mushroom? No, there's no mushrooms. That's a Brussels oh, sprout. Yeah. Now I recognize them. <laughs> Some asparagus. Asparagus were on great sale. They were $1.50 a pound asparagus. What? A price chopper, yeah. Oh. That's cheap. I said Pam didn't shop for me this yeah, week. Yeah, I knew that. But, uh, girl, she would have, you know, I would have had her cut. She brings out with the paper, so I get the ass. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit of macaroni. Sure, sorry about that. Well, they throw it out in the driveway, and there's no way I can go out and uh, get it. Of course it. not. So she gets, brings me hers. When they're done with it. I'm making a mess. Thank you. Yep. There's bread if you want. This time of year, they always have lamb on sale. So I like getting it. They even had lamb roast, um, leg of lamb on sale, boneless. So I bought one to freeze because at the price it is right yeah, now, it's half price. Right this well. was half price of what it normally is. That's wonderful. <clears throat> I told you we never had lamb because Bob wouldn't eat it. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends that don't like lamb. Lamb is the type of thing you either love or you hate. I guess. On the first place, that when he was in the Navy, they served him mutton. Mutton's a little different. <laughs> well, you still say that lamb in the second, and then, then we used to go up to Utica and pass that farm where all the little lambs were in them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway. So I never had it. I have a lot of friends, when they go out, they have lamb because their husbands or spouses don't like lamb, so they never make it, so when they yeah. go out, they have lamb. Well, that's what you used to do, too. Yeah. The old Barons wasn't open for Easter. I wonder if they're still in business. I don't know. They they closed, and, uh, I, yeah. and then they reopened, and one of my friends had a 90th birthday there, and... Uh, well, it's it, called, it was, I think, in like New York. It's you called, walk in, white floor, lovely, lovely furniture, or like a reception area. It's called Christine's now. Bar, yeah. Christine's it's called now. Oh. And that's a different name that... You think it's still running? I couldn't tell. It, but the one that is running again is Fred's Inn. Is what? Fred's. 
Fred's. Oh Inn, yeah, that's yeah. open, and that was open for Easter. Oh, yeah, that was closed for a while too. I was think. It? I think yeah. so. I know we we ate there a couple times. It was kind of a fancy place too. Formal, I guess the word I'm looking mm -hmm. for.